I'm Pete Lesher, Chief Curator for the Chesapeake Bay Maritime Museum. We're known for our beautiful waterfront location, as well as our 12 exhibit buildings and numerous artifacts. But not all of those objects are on exhibit at any given time. Today you're going to get a special treat, a behind the scenes glimpse at our collection. Let's go take a look. Here's where we start. This building doesn't look like much from the outside, but it contains thousands of artifacts. Let's take a look inside. Some of our objects are millions of years old, like this fossilized American oyster, which shows how large the oyster could grow when it wasn't threatened by disease or harvesting. Today we're lucky to find an oyster much larger than three inches, which is the legal limit for harvesting in Maryland. All the objects in the museum have stories like this model of the steamboat mini wheeler. It was made by the boat's quartermaster for the captain, and then it passed down in the captain's family for generations. It's what we call a sailor-made model, made by the hand of somebody who really knew the vessel intimately and put all the details into the model. Some artifacts in the museum's collection are donated or purchased, but a few are even found, like this decoy. The Carver's family cast this adrift on the waters of the Chesapeake to fulfill his final wishes. It contains his ashes, and this tells us something about how important waterfowling and decoys are to the people of the Chesapeake. The museum has the largest public collection of Chesapeake Bay oyster tins in the world. And while most of them are on exhibit, we do have a few gems back here in storage, like this Navy brand oyster tin. Although it says it was packed in Baltimore, it may actually have come from St. Michael's on Navy Point, where the museum's boatyard now stands. Navy Point was once covered with seafood packing houses. Chesapeake Bay Maritime Museum is the leading institution for collecting, preserving, studying, and exhibiting stories about the Chesapeake Bay. Students and researchers come here to examine objects like this, an 1862 chart of the Chesapeake Bay from the last generation of privately printed charts before the government took over. The museum's collection contains artworks, paintings, prints, and sculpture, like this print of an Art Deco steam ferry boat, which shows how the industrial design movement reached even into things like naval architecture, although not all of the details were built into the actual vessel. The museum has amassed the largest collection of carved Chesapeake Bay name boards. Many of these come off of Menhaden fish steamers, removed back in 1968 by order of the Coast Guard. After that, the name simply had to be painted on the vessels. Most of these objects will eventually be brought out for the public to enjoy, but for now, they're available only by appointment. 
We need to preserve these objects so that they continue to inspire future generations with stories of the Chesapeake Bay.